This is Daryl Webster with some news about Sway and Office 365. I've got the word that it has been rolled out to the first release tenants in Office 365 if you have that feature activated. Um, and if you have that feature activated for a set number of people in your organization, they'll be starting to see it. So what do we see? Well, at the moment, it's um, been rolled out, um, I guess, bit by bit, little by little. And the only place that I'm seeing at the moment is the Sway tile when I visit portal.office.com. So that is, um, for me, I've set this as my start page. For some, your start page might be Outlook. But um, going to this Office 365 start page, that's where I see my Sway tile. I'm not seeing that quite yet. Oh, I do see it in the app launcher from this page within Office 365. But what I have noticed is if I open up um, something like Yammer, um, that within the app launcher, it hasn't quite rolled out yet, so we should see that in, in a few seconds. And if I go up now to app launcher, oh, there it was, and then it disappeared. So you did see that it was um, it was briefly there. So some of the um, consistency across the different experiences, if we just try sites as well to give um, an experience of the app launcher from the SharePoint perspective, um, we're starting to, I guess it'll be rolling out bit by bit, the, the Sway tile will be available there. Um, so we don't see it there yet. Um, and well, I guess one further thing, one of the more common areas that will um, of course visit is Outlook and Outlook Web Access and um, you know, without giving you too much of a view of what's going on in my mailbox um, we do see the swale tile there I'll just pause for a little while longer to see if it disappears it seems to be consistently there um, just a quick refresh to see if that remains so I do expect that tile to appear across the other experiences and other services within Office 365. Um, but it's at the moment, uh, I can only see it on the portal page and um, also when I visit OWA. So what's our experience when we click it? Um, let's try it from the app launcher just uh, for the fun of it. It's launching through and you'll see that the address in the address bar is sway.com and 0365 equals true. So it's checking to see, uh, are you um, logged into Office 365? Are you an Office 365 user? That's your start page. So I don't see an, an automatic login at this stage. Um, I still need to click sign in. Now for me, I'm using the same address, daryl at webster.net.nz, as my Microsoft account, and also using that domain in Office 365 um, as my, my login there too, my identity. So when I was um, using Sway with my Microsoft account and I've connected it to Windows 8.1, I could click sign in and it would sign me in automatically to my Microsoft account. So now that I'm uh, visiting using the 0365 equals true address, I've got a sign in address and let's just try this out. I haven't, this is very raw, I haven't even tried it myself before the video so we're getting a true experience of what it might be like for a new user. Uh, let's click next and see what happens. Welcome to Sway. So we are getting a prompt that's reasonably familiar across some other experiences in the Office uh, 365 products or Microsoft Online products that we have to choose. Right, I recognize this is an, an email address that's been used in a Microsoft account and in an organizational account, which is now being called a work account or school account. So really, you know, your first half is, is your consumer side and on the right hand side is anything to do with Office 365 so um, okay I'm signing in with Office 365 and we'll try that out so you'll see that I'm um, signed into Office 365 within um, this browser session I haven't had to input my login details a second time now what I would like to do is um, see if now that I've gone through that experience do I get something like a single sign-on experience if I was to start a new browser session? So I might just come back to that little experience, but I have read from some of the feedback in the change alerts group of the Office 365 network on Yammer that uh, that single sign-on experience um, isn't there, that it, it's, um, it's still something that I probably will have a prompt again to say, do you want to sign in with a Microsoft account or your work 
and, or school uh, account. So we are signed in with an Office 365 account now. Um, it has picked that up and I know that that's my account. Um, and I expect that when I go to My Sways, what will I see there? Will it be a blank canvas? Yes, it is. So my Microsoft account has oh, 20 or 30 different Sways. Um, and this is now a blank canvas. It's all associated now with my Office 365 account. I've got a couple of examples there that I can check out and use. And I don't expect there to be... Um, well, actually, I do. I expect there to be a few new things as I look at Sway. Um, because what we did hear about at Ignite was that we'll be able to use some of the sources from Office 365 to add content. So we do get this um, you know, standard look of here's the cards that we can use, and so we are used to seeing that. Um, but what I'm interested in is inserting content. What do I have available? So I have suggested, Bing, etc. So some of those um, standard social sources that uh, were available in the Microsoft account experience or the consumer experience. But I don't see anything there for me to go and look for a document that might be um, sitting in a, in a document library or in SharePoint Online or um, within OneDrive for Business. So I guess that's still coming little by little. So at the moment it looks like the experience is still um, that you can bring in content from some of these uh, public sources. Uh, you don't see OneDrive Consumer available as a source now. Let's see what's underneath the Add Source button. So we are being um, uh, asked what other sources we might like within our Office 365 experience and um, I know that in the consumer experience we already have Vine and I think we have Vimeo as well so there's a few things that we can already uh, um, embed into our, our uh, sways. So the other thing that we can do is hmm, you know the experience that, that I'm hoping to see eventually is rather than me having to go to a site and maybe go to OneDrive and, and now that I've got OneDrive open how do I get that content into my Sway? Um, so I'm, I'm not able to click and say um, embed this document but uh, oops, just like we can with uh, the OneDrive uh, consumer experience that I can open up a document uh, let's just do that and I'm expecting that I can grab the embed code once that loads up Let's have a look under here. And close that off. What we've got here, go over our sway, and we can use one of the cards, of course, to embed. Now this you know, does take a bit more thinking than just dragging and dropping content over. Um, so that's, you know, it's, it's I guess, um, a medium or semi-advanced skill. Um, but we don't currently support for the site. So there we go, we um, can't embed things in there yet because as we know with Sway there are some approved um, uh, URLs or sources for embedding content and um, I expect they haven't actually added anything with uh, SharePoint.com in there yet. Um, so I'm hoping to see that coming through soon too. Um, of course it has to be star.sharepoint.com because anything before that can be um, uh, quite of variance, you know, it depends what tenant you come from and there's thousands of those in the world. So we can't embed content there yet, um, what else can we do? Um, you know, and it is early stages, I'm seeing this in first release, so I expect that if I did have a document, let's just try and find something locally that it's going to um, behave as it should. Let's just quickly try and do that. So I'm taking a Word document from a local source, dragging that on over, and that's going to upload. Oh, looks like something went wrong. Let's see, we'll refresh the page. Might have to try that a second time, and just so you can see that I am doing this for real, that it's making its way through. might have to interrupt that process. So what have we done there? So it's dragged it in and rather than um, embedding the content or making it look like a, a Word document, it's actually taken the the whole content from the Word document 
um, whether it be headings and text, and it's it's imported it. So it's brought the content in in that way, rather than taking the content or the document and, and attaching it and embedding it as, as some online content. So pictures are surely going to be the same. Um, we can find a picture that's quite simple enough. Um, running a window hack day, let's see what that looks like in there. Drag and drop that, and that should drop it into a place where we can see it within our sway and import that. So that's pretty standard there too. No issues there. So, um, yeah, I see it's early days. I'll, I'll just finish up there um, rather than uh, doing a great big video about early days with Sway in Office 365. But um, I expect to see as things roll out further that the um, sources will be... Uh, um, pointing you towards Office 365 sources that I can go in and, you know, of course I can upload something that way, I guess that's another way to do it. Um, but yeah, being able to select a document from a document library or the like. Um, now you see, now that I've got content in my sway, that um, we do get the suggested view that um, picks up on some words and, and offers something that I might want to um, drop into my sway. So that's now it's pulling it from public sources. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so that's that's as far as uh, we need to go with looking at Sway in Office 365. Um, you'll be able to see some of the further reactions and discussions on the Office 365 network. Let me just quickly find that for you. So there we go, that's the Office 365 network, which another way to get to is aka.ms forward slash Office 365 network. And um, you know we've provided a short link to to the Sway group as well, so you can put Sway at the end, um, and that will take you into the Sway group. So that's where all the discussions happening at the moment, reactions and and um, questions about how things work within the Office 365 experience of Sway. I encourage you to join the conversation there, and thank you very much for watching.